Hey scientists and welcome to another PS Science video. I'm Miss Oninoki and this is Mr. Mammoth and we have something to show you. What do you think this is? Kind of looks like a boomerang, doesn't it? But it's not for throwing. It's for eating. It's a tooth. Is it your tooth? Not his. This tooth belongs to something called the Smilodon Fatalis. I wonder what that could look like. Must be something with a big sharp tooth, right? This is the Smilodon Fatalis, or a model of it. They got the Fatalis part right. Smilodon makes it sound so happy, but Smilodon actually means knife-shaped tooth. So fatal knife-shaped tooth makes a lot of sense. Okay, so the shape makes sense and the size. What's this, this brown stuff? It's not poor dental hygiene. This brown is actu actually a result of where this tooth was found. This, this tooth is a local tooth. It is a replica of the actual saber-toothed cat tooth found at the La Brea Tarpets here in Los Angeles. So how did it get there? Here's a tarpitz matrix. Do you spot any fossils? There's one there, and there, and there. Ah! There's just too many! So how do all the bones get all jumbled up in the tar picks matrix? Well, what we think of as tar is actually called asphalt. Millions of years ago, the area around Los Angeles was covered in oceans. As the plants and animals in the ocean died, their bodies sank to the bottom of the ocean floor, the soft parts rotted away and become fossil fuels. Oils, gases, and asphalt. Asphalt is a thick, sticky form of fossil fuel. Kind of like this black glue. As cracks in the earth open up, it allows the asphalt to seep up through those cracks, creating something called a tar seep. The area around Rancho La Brea, where the La Brea tar pits are, became a perfect environment for the tar to settle in a seep. The tar pools in one area, and then as rain happens, the water sits on top of the tar, and then leaves and sticks and other debris fall on top of the water and essentially cover up the tar. Some unsuspecting animal, like the mastodon, dips their head in for a drink and suddenly they are stuck in the tar. The more that they struggle, the deeper they get stuck into the tar. But how do other bones get mixed in with the mastodon bones? Well, the smilodon, for example, might spot the struggling mastodon thinking it's gonna get a quick bite and when it pounces on the mastodon and in the struggle, it also gets stuck in the tar and then they both end up dying in the tar and that's how their bones get all mixed up and jumbled together. We're gonna use our imagination to create a diorama showing a scene from the tar pits and to let us feel the sticky tar. So we're gonna make something that's similar to tar. Some people call it oobleck. To make this, you need cornstarch, about two cups, and about a cup of water, a bowl, and something to stir with. I'm gonna use a popsicle stick. You could use a pencil or a spoon. So I'm gonna start with my water and I'm gonna pour About a cup of water. You can always add a little bit more if your oobleck is too wet. Okay, and then I'm gonna add, slowly add my two cups oops, of cornstarch, mix it in. Okay. 
as you're mixing it, you might notice that the bottom is really hard to mix. At some point, you might have to switch to mixing with your hands instead of your mixing stick. all this in. Make sure you're getting to the bottom. I think I have to switch to my hands. Ooh. It does feel sticky. If you find it's too wet, you can always add some more cornstarch. Corn Keep adding and mixing the cornstarch until it reaches the desired consistency. What you're looking for is something that is sticky and when you pick it up in your fist and squeeze, it should form a hard ball, but as soon as you relax your fingers, it melts away. The key to oobleck is the cornstarch molecules. The cornstarch molecules are long and thin, and they don't dissolve in the water. They create what's called a suspension. When, you move, when the molecules are moved fast, they tangle together and harden. But when the molecules are moved slow, they slide past each other. Which is why, like quicksand, when I move fast and struggle, I can't get my hand out. But when I let my fingers relax and move slowly, I can slide back out. When I push on it fast, notice that my fingers don't even go underneath the surface of the oobleck. But when I go slowly, then they're able to go in. So you can imagine if you were a scared animal trying to get out of this and you're struggling, you're going to get more stuck. But if they just relax, then they can get free. This stuff is really fun to play with. Once your, corn, once your um, oobleck is ready, then you can construct your diorama. Let's pause for a second while we get cleaned up. So to make your diorama, you'll need maybe some leaves. I'm using fake leaves, but you can go outside and get real leaves. Maybe a rock, and then some animals. If you don't have plastic animals, you could use Legos or any other object you find around your house. So I'm going to imagine that I am the baby mammoth. And as I put my baby mammoth on the surface, I notice that it's sticking. If I lay her down, oh, she's gone. As I try to bring her back out, when I go fast, she sticks, but when I go slowly, it all drips off. If I push her down hard, notice that she, she, she hesitates at the top. Let's try the giant sloth. If I put him down hard, he doesn't seek down right away. And then as soon as I let him go, he slowly goes in. If I go to fish out my mammoth from the bottom of the oobleck, it's really hard to get her out of there. The, more, the harder that I pull, the more I can't get her out. If I go a little slowly, though, then I can get to her. When you're done with this, Take all of your objects out. These can be washed. And then don't put your oobleck down the sink. Wait for your oobleck to dry, let the water evaporate out, and then you can just throw the cornstarch away. Happy sciencing! Okay, scientists, thanks for watching. Did you enjoy that lesson? Subscribe below to see more fun science videos. You can also become a member of PS Science on Patreon to support what we're doing. See you next time!